Hey everyone, a while ago I went to the thrift store, I found some cool stuff, so uh, let's go over some of it. First up, uh, I got some DVDs that didn't have their own box. So here's a disc three of like a, a Boogeyman collection. Here we got the original Boogeyman and Return of the Boogeyman. And on the other side there's a Phantom of the Opera, the... Now uh, it's this Joel Schumacher, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Alright, cool. Don't really know this particular version. Um, I don't really know the Boogeyman movies. Like, I know the first one. Isn't that the one where a, a window falls on a kid and it's, like, really silly? Here's a pretty cool thing I found. A Blu-ray double feature. A Tom Savini movie, Demonic. That's cool. And then something else called Uninvited that I don't know anything about. I, mean, I didn't know about this one either, but it has Tom Savini advertised, so it'll probably be cool, but... Don't know about this one. Oh, and then I got some CDs here. Let's talk about the CDs. Isaac Hayes, Greatest Hits. Isn't that cool? Not a, like, enormous fan, but hey, this is a really neat thing to have. And here we got uh, The Soul Years, 1966, 1999, Volume 8. So this was part of, like, a pretty long series, it must have been. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Hit UK Soul Singles. So, it goes by the UK charts? Okay, weird. Um, don't know much about this, but I like soul and R&B. Now, this is a really weird thing. Heroes had a soundtrack? Yeah, apparently. And it's held together with uh, little Velcro thingies. And we got some artwork on the uh, interior here. Or folded out, and uh, let's see. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of illustrations on the inside of this Heroes soundtrack, which is kind of neat. Don't think it was necessary, but whatever. Oh, and that Velcro never wants to connect that straight. There we go. So yeah, um, I'm looking at... I don't really know much about Heroes, actually. I saw, like, maybe one episode and didn't think it was anything amazing, so I just didn't keep up watching it. I'm looking at the... Uh, songs here. I mainly just got this to see if the comic book store wanted it because this was dirt cheap. It was like 50 cents. And here we got a Notorious Collector's Edition Unrated Director's Cut. Okay, cool. So, a Blu-ray about Notorious B.I.G. I, I guess it's a, a docudrama or biodrama something. Don't really know anything about this movie. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a digital code there. If anybody wants to pause and take that, go ahead. I have no idea if that's still good. And, uh, so let's see. Blu-ray and digital copy. Oh. Okay, so, okay, maybe it won't work with just that code. I guess you need the digital copy. That Man, that was a really stupid thing to include with stuff for a while, wasn't it? Or is that, like, a DVD? But who cares? Whatever. Notorious B.I.G. And here's a uh, horror movie triple feature, which I only got because it was a dollar. Uh, Last House on the Left, which at first I thought was the remake, because, okay, there's Strangers and whatever this thing is. It looks pretty recent. But, yeah, Last House on the Left, I think, is the original movie. Uh, let's see. Renown. Oh, Returns. Okay, so, yeah, it is a remake. Okay. So, yeah, that's the remake, too. Uh, okay box. Nothing to write home about there. Yay. And then this is a thing I definitely just got because it was a dollar. Bill Murray, Rock the Casbah. Uh, some kind of comedy with Bill Murray in it. It's really, uh, brightly colored. There's a digital code if anybody wants to steal that, I guess. Uh, DVD, Blu-ray... Oh, actually, this is kind of weird. How come the uh, DVD is really colorful and the Blu-ray just kind of sucks? Like, it's got that kind of fuzziness around the logo. That's kind of neat. But how come it's not orange like the DVD is? So, don't know anything about this movie. I don't know if I'm even going to watch it. Uh, ooh, that's bright. That stands out. I mainly just got this to see if uh, I could sell it. And then next up, uh, Alfred Hitchcock Psycho. I'm not like, in dire need of this movie or anything. There's not really anything too special on there, but I just wanted to have a copy of Psycho lying around. And I... 
you know, I might actually have a tape, a, a DVD of Psycho lying around, but not this one, so, uh, whatever. Boogeyman 3. Uh, Aaron Cahill's in it. Yeah, Aaron Cahill from uh, Pyranger's Time Force, so I can toss this in my pile of movies I only bought because they had Power Ranger actors in them. Yeah, otherwise I really don't care anything about this movie. Big Hero 6, I think I've already bought this on DVD and never watched it, gave it away, but here it is again, so maybe this time I'll actually give it a chance and watch it before getting rid of it. Uh, let's see, I don't think Disney Movie Rewards is a thing anymore, so I don't think that code's gonna be good if anybody does want to try it. Um... Honey, I shrunk the kids. This was a kind of a cool thing to find. This isn't the type of thing you usually just find lying around. This is kind of a more rare movie, I think, uh, when it comes to Disney movies. Still got the uh, little paper in there. What's on the back? Uh, just the cover. Nice DVD. Uh, decent box all around. Just got that sticky goop up there, though. That's annoying. This is a really cool thing. This double feature. Uh, Fright Flix cut and the... Uh, Something Francisville Experiment. What is that? If? Is that if or it? I, I can't really read what... The, oh, Saint. Saint Francisville. Okay. That's a horrible S right there. Okay, so, um... Don't know anything about these two movies, but they're obscure horror movies from, like, the 80s or something, right? Or, they. This one has Molly Ringwald in it, so I'm assuming 80s. Uh, oh, 1985, that one says. This one doesn't say, but um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're good. Maybe they're awful. Double-sided DVD, that's annoying. This is a cool thing. This came with this huge booklet full of a bunch of Lionsgate stuff, and including like stuff that's out of print now and stuff I never even knew they owned. Like I was flipping through here... And I saw, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the uh, Dragon Ball English dub box set. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't even know that was distributed by Lionsgate. I thought that was like uh, Trimark, but yeah, I guess Lionsgate is part of Trimark or something. Oh, and this was something weird. This box was originally like see-through, because there's like technical stuff on the inside of the cover. So, at some point, somebody swapped out the normal box for a black box. I don't know why they did that. Unless this was, like, something the, like uh, the distributors did, for whatever reason. Maybe the distributors, like, just didn't care and just started putting them in black boxes. Who knows? And finally, uh, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I keep hearing people talk about this movie. I thought this was a really older movie, but it says 2009. Oh, it's from Miramax. Okay. Some water damage down there, apparently. Uh, World War II drama about a, a kid in a... Or, well, it's about, I think, this kid who's outside the camp. This His friend is in the camp or some something. Um, Blu-ray. Yay. Uh, boring disc. I have no idea what to expect from this. I'm not really a big... World War II drama fan, but, like, I don't know. I, for some reason, for years, I've heard people talk about this movie and talk about how good it is, and, like, I'm sure it's good. I just don't know if it's going to be something that, like, I'm super into. I, I think I'm going to see myself selling this in the future, maybe, if I watch it, or it's going to become one of my favorite movies. I don't really know. So, there, yeah, there's a whole bunch of DVDs, Blu-rays, and some CDs that I got recently, uh... That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.